Three Weather Lab. Here's Daniel's True View forecast. Welcome back, everyone. A pretty straightforward forecast here. Not a whole lot going on in the weather world, at least not in the short term. Now we are going to start to see some changes by the time we get to the end of the weekend, beginning of next week, and we're going to get to all that here in a moment. First, though, let's start with a look at the satellite and radar picture here across portions of the southeast. The heaviest rainfall has been out over towards our east, kind of from the eastern peripheries of the basin all the way throughout now to parts of Alabama, Georgia, Atlanta, seeing a lot of heavy shower activity. You can see it down along the coastline between about Pensacola, Fort Walton area, all the way through New Orleans and comes to a halt by the time it gets to Acadiana. We stayed dry today, even though we had showers on going up towards our north, had a couple strong thunderstorms up over through Vernon and parts of Rapides Parish, had some strong thunderstorms up along the North Shore, even getting out over towards New Orleans today at everything now well off towards the north of us. And that's going to continue to push further and further away from Acadiana. Again, we stayed fairly dry. It was showers all around us, but never quite made it into our area. We may see a, a few isolated showers popping up by the time we get into tomorrow, but that's going to be about it. Let's look ahead though that that big weather maker that we're going to be talking about now sitting out over through the Caribbean doesn't look like it's going to develop into anything. In fact, we've got two different systems. One that's kind of taking a lot of the energy out of the room and that's going to be Hurricane Bud, which is sitting out in the in the Pacific right now. The second storm already to get going. So the Pacific has certainly been turned on. We saw the, the tropical storm just a few weeks ago out in the Caribbean. So we are in, in uh, hurricane season now. We do have this surge of moisture that we're going to keep an eye on. I think it works its way up into western parts of the Gulf as we go through the weekend into early parts of next week. Doesn't necessarily develop into anything, but this is going to be a pretty good rainmaker for whoever catches that moisture. And right now it looks like it's probably going to be eastern Texas, west Louisiana. We're going to be right on the periphery of it. This is one model run here. As we go through the week, you can see that it surges up into portions of, of the Gulf of Mexico. Again, mostly out over towards our west, but we'll stop this on Saturday. You'll start to see some clouds building up. I think better rain chances to start the weekend. There's going to be a lot that changes between now and then, particularly as we get into Monday. That moisture continues to surge up into the area, and you'll see showers on going all the way through up uh, into northern parts of, of Texas as well. Models seem to be lagging a little bit today. Reason why we're talking about that now, there's really not a whole lot happening between now and then. Your daily rain chances sort of around that 20-30%. I think maybe getting up to around 40 at best later on this week. Uh, for the most part, Futurecast looks very, very quiet all the way through tomorrow. We may get an isolated shower or two to pop up again. We'll, we'll go 20% chance of rain. We'll get those winds coming in from the south, keeps that moisture in place. You may see some clouds drifting in and out of the region, but for the most part, mostly sunny skies, hot conditions, humid conditions as well. Afternoon showers, afternoon thunderstorms fire up. I think we do start to see an increase in, in the wet weather, though, by the time we get to Thursday, and we'll go from that 20, 30 percent up to about 40, 50 to start wrapping up the work week and getting on into the weekend. In the meantime, it's going to be hot, as you would imagine. It usually is this time of year. We'll be upper 70s for the morning commute. Very, very muggy outside temperatures with not a lot of wiggle room. So right around 78 degrees. I think we get down to about 76. That'll be about it. Mid 70s across the board. Upper 80s for your evening commute tomorrow. A lot of this is going to depend who gets the showers. If you see a lot of that shower activity picking up in the afternoon, things may be a little bit cooler, but the morning's still going to be very warm, especially with some added rainfall, some added moisture. You'll see uh, that humidity keeping temperatures on the warmer side. Again, warm and muggy tonight will be in the mid 70s, anywhere from 74 to 76 degrees area wide, maybe a little bit cooler the further north you go. Winds are going to be relaxing as well. We'll stay nearly calm through the rest of the night. A little bit of a breeze tomorrow coming in out of the south again, just enough to keep that moisture in place. A 20% chance for a quick shower or two, 93 degrees for your high. A little more unsettled towards the end of the week. Again, this is when we could start to see the impacts of that moisture right around Saturday. A lot of those clouds stick around for the beginning of next week as well. We'll go 40, 50% rain chances for now. But again, I do think that it's going to be slightly better, uh, uh, certainly slightly better rain chances by the time we get to the weekend. We'll keep an eye on that. That's going to be the big weather maker. And really, there's just not much happening between now and then.